I'm Maddie. I'm Greg. And all together now, we, we are, are live. live. Hi, everyone. Hello. We are in the middle of Spy Week, which might just be one of my favourite themes yet. However, uh, this week we are working together to use our skills of observation and problem solving to tackle three very curious cases. Oh, we sure are. Um, God, Mondays was fun, wasn't it? It was so good. We took on the role of uh, crime scene investigators, uh -huh. CSIs, no right. less, um, for the curious case of the conundrum of the missing cookies. <laughs> Add an extra C word. <laughs> um, we did a whole load of cool forensic science experiments um, and we found our prime suspect. Yeah, who was. Well, we're not going to tell you in case you haven't seen that show yet. That's true, yes, but don't worry, they have bought more uh, biscuits for the office, so it's all good. Yeah, but can you believe that even though we followed the clues to yeah. discover the actual, uh, the actual criminal, you still thought it was Greg? Still thought it was me? Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> it's, like, it's like I like food or something. I know. We had a great time dusting our fingerprints and having a go at chromatography, but we were the only ones. You have all been practicing your forensic skills too. So let's take a look at some of the photos that you have been sending in. Here's Daisy. Daisy really enjoyed uh, her new spy skills and she worked out who stole the cookie jar in her house and it was Elephant. Oh, here's Max. Max loved being a spy and working out the cookie thief by using chromatography and fingerprint dusting. Phoebe and Jessie worked out who left them the secret note by using uh, chromatography and it was their daddy. Ria's been loving Spy Week because her favourite books are the Enid Blyton mystery books. And she was very excited to learn that she had the rare arch fingerprint a few of you seem to have that pattern mm. very very yeah, cool five percent of people have that uh, here's arthur he used his new spy skills to experiment on five different pens and dusted fingerprints on a mug and aria found that her dad does a type of chromatography at work but oh. not with pens and colors he uses something called mass spectrometry to find out the different compounds that are in like medicines. Wow. <laughs> what? Super you cool. Something there. Uh, we love seeing all of the photos that your grown ups send in. So please do keep them coming into our email address. And we've got a whole load that we're going to show a little bit later on as well. Yes. Now, look, if you want to join in with the curious case today, uh, I recommend you grab a pen and a paper. You might want to take some notes as we're going along. Mm, it's um, it's actually been quite quiet on the case front, though. There just hasn't been anything coming in at all. No. No. I'm what? so sorry. I've left my email notifications on. How rude. <laughs> Are you going to answer it? Hang on. What? But no. Um, what? What's it, what does it say? Stop. We might actually need to look at this. Sorry. Uh, it says urgent Dave. Uh, well, open it. What if it's a scam? Well, don't worry. We've got really good scam filters. True. If it says urgent Dave, then we have to open it. By the way, if you're new to Let's Go Live, hi, welcome. Uh, Dave is one of our Let's Go Live teammates and he's um, he's a teddy bear. So, Oh, my word. What? Um, it's a ransom note. I think Dave's been taken. Dave's been taken? Dave has been taken. Well, then open up the ransom note so we can all read it together. What does it say? Okay. Maddie and Greg, Dave has been tednapped. He is safe, but locked up. Don't be a tool. Look for clues. Everything you need is in the spare room. Can you crack this case to set him tree? Yours, Dave's evil twin. Can you crack the case to okay. set him three? Dave's evil twin. Okay. Oh, I can't believe it. I knew his evil twin would be up to mischief no, no again. No need, no need to panic. Um, no. Dave is fine. Uh, but, you know, it's his evil... I didn't even know he had an evil twin. Yeah, he's a right troublemaker. I've actually been investigating Dave's evil twin recently. There should be a photo on the desktop. Oh, okay. He's been involved in all oh. sorts of different crap, see? Wow. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, can, I can definitely see the similarities there. All right, tell me yeah. about it. So we... Okay, you know what? I'm going to get the door. Everyone's interrupting us. Yeah, go on. Um, you lot have have a think about what we can do. Everything we need is in the spare room. So okay, got it. All right, you get Dave. the door, get the door. We need we need the deliveries. Um, right, do you lot have any ideas? If you're watching live, let us know in the live chat if you have any ideas for how we can help find Dave, all right? Remember, yes, everything we need to free Dave is in the spare room. Uh, can you see anything out of the ordinary in the spare room. Oh, also, by the way, I don't think we need a quiz today, right? Because everything is a quiz today. The whole thing is a quiz. Okay, good, good, agree. Right. Right, okay. uh, right. Well, um, I went to the 
to the door, answered it, nobody was there, but someone had left this case. Is this the curious case that we yeah. have to solve? Yeah, it's a suitcase. However, we can't get into it because it's locked and the only way we can open the case is with a key. Hang on. Could Dave be inside the case? I think he might be because look, this is Dave's blue ribbon. Okay. Dave, right. are you inside there? So Dave's inside there. Well, There's I a lock, so. right? Uh, and we need a key mm -hmm. to open the lock. Yeah, but I don't have a key. Right, you lot. We're going to need to have a good old look round to search for clues. Yeah. Uh, should, we put some, uh, should we put some searching music, some detective escape room music on? Yeah, any ideas, put them in the live chat. Right, okay, what can we see that's a little bit out of the ordinary? Um, okay, great, you check what? the What, what, what is that? this? Uh, that looks like some kind of toolbox. There's a whole toolbox here, that's not normally here, okay. okay. Over here, I've got a jug of water with some pens. They're not usually there. Uh, Nothing uh, in the people are saying, uh, look at the letter, there's an envelope. Oh, yes, yes, well done. Well Good done. job. Keep that there. Good job. Um, look in the plant pots. That one, that one, that one, look in the, I bet so there's nothing in this one. Nothing in this one. Okay, there's nothing in these. The what cushions. about your drawers? Have you got anything uh, in your drawers? I can't get, I can't get in my drawers. Why? They're, they're, they're like a string holding them together. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I've got some scissors, but we can't get into the scissors because they are, there's a lock on them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, binoculars, plants, nothing else, and cushions. Right, let's start with this. Okay. Wow. Right, thank you, you lot, for your help. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. What have people been saying? What oh, have we found? Let's go through it. Zach and Luke said you need to look in the toolbox. Okay, okay, good. We'll start looking in the toolbox. Rachel says look around the whole room. We've just done that. Uh, Eva and Will say you need to get in that case. I agree. Uh, Noah says look for something suspicious. I well, think we found a few of them. We do. We've got a few suspicious items. Oh, right. Nabil says check under the sofa. Oh, good, good That's idea, good idea, idea, good idea. <laughs> Is there anything under there? There's nothing under the sofa. Okay, well, good okay. idea though. That's a very good plan. Okay, tell us about the toolbox. Right. Mm -hmm. Found a toolbox. Yeah. Let's have a closer look at it. The toolbox has a lock on the front right. and the lock looks like it needs five letters, a five letter combination to open it. Okay, five letters. It, but it could be anything. We don't have five letters or do we? Okay, so over here I've got some scissors. But uh, these are pretty useless right now because to get to the scissors, I'm going to need to open this lock. And this lock needs four numbers. But when we've got into the scissors, I could use the scissors to get into the... Oh, sorry, that was, a, that was loud. <laughs> I could use the scissors yeah. to get and cut the string to get into the drawers. Oh, good idea. Okay, so we need to get into the lock somehow. What else have we found? Um, there is uh, a got the envelope. yellow envelope. And also over here, there's the jug of water with two pens. Oh, I, I didn't hear that one. Jug of water, two pens. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Not usually there. Um, hang, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Let's start with the ransom note. Okay, good plan. Okay. Yeah. What does it say? Okay, let's look at it. Is there anything here that looks slightly out of the ordinary? Perhaps some of the words are spelt incorrectly or look out of place? Hang on a moment. Hang on. Rather, look at that second to last line. Can you crack the case to set him three? Set him three? That should say set him free. It should. And it says set him three. Good spot. But I don't need a number. I need letters for this lock. And three um, could be one of these numbers, I suppose. Let's have another look. Is there anything else out of place that's a bit weird? Ooh, hang on. Bodhi says, are there any letters around the room? Hang on. Good point. Bodhi spotted that there are red letters. Well done. Good job. Well done. Okay, so look, okay. there is an E, a D, an L, an O, and a V. E, D, L, O, V. Five letters. Okay. They could be the five letters we need for the coach. Can I try it? Yeah, go on. Okay, okay. all right. Okay, see. Okay, try, okay. try, 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 try. Uh, so the first one was uh, e, e, yes? Yeah, E first. Oh, okay, you lot. On a lock like this, you can see there's these... Um, Oh, sorry, can you put me back on? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, on a lock like this, you can see that there are these white lines on either side, and you've got to line the letters up with those lines. So E is the first one. Next one was D. D, okay. Is there a D? Hang on, there's no... There's no D on that second ring. There isn't a D. No. Okay. There's no D on the second ring, so... Right. What else so can we do? So that's not going to work. No. What else? Do we, what else can okay, we do? Okay, all right. Do let's see. Then? Let's see what they're all saying. Okay, uh, other people are suggesting. Hang on. Ooh, someone has noticed. Some people have noticed that that letter, those letters, could spell out the word loved. 
Oh, Good so point. it could be an anagram. Yeah, try L O instead. See if that works. Okay. Okay, ready? Try that. You are good. Oh, I have an L. You have an L. Is there an O? I have an O. Is there a V? There's no V. Oh, there's no good V. Good thinking, though. There's no V. What else? Oh, someone else has said. Oh. Okay, brilliant. Uh, look in the envelope. Yeah, I mean that that was, that was a good pretty one. Obvious, That's wasn't a good it? one. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm going to look in the envelope. envelope. Okay, go on. Let's have a look at the top we can down. Find here. Okay, well it does say use me on it, so probably should have thought about. Ah. <gasps> Look! Oh, that's a cipher wheel. It is. Okay, now look. In the world of spies, okay, keeping messages secret is super important. So spies often send messages mm -hmm. in code, yeah. and a cipher can be used uh, for the person who receives the code to decipher it, yeah. right? To change it from a code into that message. The cipher wheel helps us turn messages into code, and we call this encryption. And then the Cyber wheel can also help us to decipher the code back into secret messages. Um, in the past, a cipher wheel like this was actually used by the Roman Emperor Julius Caesar to send secret messages to his army generals. It was how they communicated nice um, fat bomb, a top secret information. That's cool. So it, the Romans used these. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of works by shifting the alphabet to and back and forward a bit. But for that to work, you need to have a key. Okay, let's have a let's have a try. Okay, okay. We'll show you how it's going to work. Sure. Uh, then we'll translate. We'll, we'll decipher a coded message. Okay. So let's have a look at this. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can see on the outside ring there, you've got all the letters of the alphabet A to Z. Yeah. Got right. It. And then on the inner ring, you've also got all the letters of the alphabet. A to Z. Mm -hmm. And the two rings move. So the, the inner ring can spin round. Yes. Okay. So let's code a secret message. Let's make a secret message. As you said, Maddie, mm -hmm. we need something called a key, right? The mm -hmm. key can be a number. Yeah. So we're going to start with a key that's a number. We're going to choose the number two. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's show them what a key of two does to the cipher wheel. Okay. Well, if we start here with our cipher wheel with all of the letters matching, so we've got A and A, B and B, C and C. If our key is two, what we do is we move the inner circle back by two letters. So I'll move it one, two. So now A becomes C, B becomes D and C becomes E and so on. Okay, so let's send a message. Mm -hmm. Now to keep that message secret, yeah. we are going to uh, turn it into a code. Yeah. We're going to use encryption. Okay, we're going to use our cipher wheel. All right, okay, so then. to do this, you spell the word you want to send using the letters on the outside wheel. Yeah. And the code that we send mm -hmm. are the letters on the inside wheel. Nice. All right. Um, so what what's our code going to be? Right. OK. Well, if you're receiving a code. Yes. You want to decipher it. Then, OK. Great. You also <laughs> use your, your cipher wheel to mm -hmm. decipher it. All right. Then, so first of all, you find the code letter on the inside and then you see what that lines up with on the outside. And then we would write that deciphered letter down. Yeah. So. Okay. Say I sent you the code uh, U R A. Okay. okay. U R A. Yes. That's what I want you to decipher. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know I'm... you know that the key is two. All right. Well, let's start back at the beginning again. Let's start with everything lined up so that we have A and A just like this. Yeah. And now I'm going to move the inner circle back two because that's the key. One, two. Right. So I've set the cipher wheel. Mm -hmm. Now you said it was U. And U R A. U R A. Yeah. So first of all, I find the letter that's on the inside. So that's U here, mm -hmm. and I decipher it with the letter on the outside. So U becomes S. Gotcha. R becomes P. Yes. And what was the last one? A. Uh, a, a becomes Y. <gasps> S P Y spells spy. So you've deciphered my code. My code was U R A, and the answer has come out as S P Y. Spy. Bye. Do you want to do another one? Okay, let's do another one. Okay. Um, this time, let's change the key mm -hmm. to be the number ten. So we both right. need to know what the key is. Mm -hmm. So let's let's set that up. All right. So again, I'm starting with the A's matching, and I need to move it back by ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, like that. So okay. now A and K are lined up. Okay, so the code I have for you now is N-K-F-O. N-K-F-O. 
Oh, all right then. So for that to do that, I find the letter on the inside and I look at what's on the outside. So N becomes D, mm -hmm. yeah? Then we had K becomes A. What was the next one? Uh, L. F, L. F. F. Where's F? Oh, I'm covering it. F. No, F on the inside. Oh, <laughs> hang on. So F becomes V. And then what was the last one? Uh, o. O. And then O becomes E. That spells out Dave. D-A-V-E. Very good. Don't worry, Dave. Don't we, worry. We're, we're coming him. for you, Dave. Yeah. We're coming for you, buddy. Okay, so hang on. Yeah. Those letters that we got from the, the ransom note, uh -huh. the red letters, E-D-L-O-V. Yes. What if they're a code? Yeah. And we need to decipher that code using the cipher wheel. Yeah. And then put the original message into the lock. Right, but for that to work, we need a key for the cipher wheel. And that key needs to be a number. These lot are really good. Are they? What are they saying? What you are they lot watching live. So many people are yelling three. <gasps> They're saying set him three. Oh, yes. yes. So let's use a key of three. Okay, all right then. Right, so I'm going to start back at the beginning. Okay, this is kind of fiddly. So I've got to try to do this whilst I'm looking at a camera and looking down. So here we go. So I'm matching up on A and I'm going to set it back by three. One, One two, two. Three. Three. Okay. So can you remember those letters, what okay. they were on the ransom note? E. E was the first one, was yes. it? Yes. Okay, right, all right. So E becomes B. Okay, cool. So B. Okay, that's E. Brilliant. Becomes B. Next nice. one. D becomes A. Gotcha. Hang on. A. Excellent. Oh, no. B then, B then A. Yes. Then it was an L. Yes. L becomes I. L becomes I. You got that? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm just over here just so you can see what I'm doing. And then we've got um, O. O becomes L over there. Fantastic. Gotcha. O becomes L. And then the last yep. one was V becomes S. Okay, so V becomes S. Yeah. V A I L S. <laughs> Is it works? I'm in. Is it works? I'm in. Yes! Well done, well done, well done. Okay, if you want to make your own cipher wheel at home, then all you need is some paper and some scissors. You could try drawing your own, or you could always um, print out the downloadable that we've put in the description box, which is a printable cipher wheel from Bletchley Park. Yeah. Um, we just use a piece of string to tie in the middle like this to make them sort of spin, but you could use a split pin if you had one. Uh, but it's really good fun. Just uh, this can be a little bit fiddly, so you might need help from a grown-up to tie that. Uh, yeah. And uh, if you do have a go, mm -hmm. get a grown-up to snap a picture, send it to our email address, hello, let's go live at gmail.com. We love seeing your photos. Okay, brilliant. Open it up. <sighs> Hopefully there's a key inside it. Is there a little key inside for that the blue suitcase. lock? There's no key inside. What What is there in there? Inside is... What is it? A rolling pin. Yeah. Uh, and a piece of kitchen roll. Okay, well, take it off. Take it off. Okay, just a roll. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> um, how many numbers are on there? It's just some just numbers. Like, well, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers. Oh, see, that is too bad because remember, we need four numbers to get into the lock to get into our scissors. Okay. <sighs> now, if uh, if I what was Dave's you... evil yeah. twin, what would I do? Are the numbers in some kind of order? Is it a number puzzle? Can we see? Is that... See, I'm normally quite good with number puzzles. Yeah. I can't see anything obvious. Okay, Nothing all right. really easy and obvious. Well, the ransom note did tell us that everything we would need to solve this puzzle would be in the room. So perhaps... I mean, good thinking, Greg, but I don't think rolling the numbers with the pin is going to do anything. I can't cut the numbers up because we can't get into the scissors yet. So what else have we not Hang used on. yet? I've got an idea, what? right? Um, remember back in Magic Week? Yeah. We wrote... Uh, secret messages to each other like yes. invisible messages mm -hmm. we wrote in wax crayon yeah. and then we used watercoloured paint to like brush over it and that revealed a message yeah it was a great way to send secret messages uh, link in the video fact, description yeah, below put, I'll put a link to that but um, we already have the message on the paper we don't need to reveal anything we have the numbers we just don't know what to do with them and we've got too many okay. we have eight numbers we need four numbers let's see what people are saying uh eva thinks it's it, a, eva thinks it's a new code definitely down. emma says look at the oh abigail abigail this is a an interesting idea abigail says she should use the water do you wish we use the water in the yes jug? we could use the water is that not just going to make it go really soggy 
Okay, all right. Write the numbers down first so that if anything happens to the numbers, then we won't lose them. So it's nine, four, two, six, one, seven, five, eight. Okay, got it. So I've got the jug of water. Hang on. This could get wet. Hang on, Jimmy. Let me use my tea towel that I always have ready for this table. Abigail, if this works, here you go. Gotcha. So put that on there. Ellie and Harry also say that we should use the water. So you're not. Loads of people now saying, put it in the water. Okay, got it. So I'm just going to put this in the water. Yeah. And see what happens. Okay, go on. Go on. And it goes. Just putting, just putting it in just the water. Just giving it a little wash. Just putting it in the... Keep, okay, oh keep dunking goodness. it, keep dunking it, keep dunking it. This was a genius idea. Wow. <gasps> keep dunking oh it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. This is so oh good. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, hang on. Hang on. Okay, well, we Look. can't see it. Can you put it down in front here? Look oh, at that. Oh, brilliant. Okay, can you see what's happened there? Some of the letters seem to, some of the numbers, sorry, seem to have washed away, leaving just four remaining. Okay, show us on the close up. Okay, so we're left with nine. Yeah. uh, Two. Yes. One, five. And the other ones have kind of been washed away. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, you know why? Hang on a second. There were two pens that we could jug, weren't there? Huh, yes. Look, one of these is a washable pen. And I can show you just here. One of them is a washable pen and one of them is a marker pen. So maybe you could write some kind of message and the washable pen numbers washed away. They just dissolved into the water. What a cool way to send secret messages to each other. You know, actually, I, I reckon we can do another one for fun. Do you have any kitchen towel? Okay. Uh, Always. <laughs> Always. On emergency supply. Yeah. Okay, so I think that you could do this at home as a fun way to send messages to each other. There you go. That's it. Give me another one Pile just so up. you can... Okay, all right. Uh, you look at the live chat because I'm going to oh, write okay. you a little message. Yeah, let's not look at what Maddie's mm. writing. Um, well done, you lot. You have been doing super well. If you're watching back as well, I hope you're joining in. Uh, this is a proper mystery to solve. Okay, so lots of people are saying we need to put this code into the lock the scissors lock yes we'll do that very very soon um let's just have a play first with some secret messages uh so loads of people getting that good job wilf says yes the numbers are red because the scissors are red clever uh-huh. ready sarah and dawn saying chromatography because that's what we did on monday it was kind of like chromatography it was a similar method wasn't it we just yeah. put it in um i've got a i've got a little message for you here can you bake I can bake a mug cake pretty well. One and a half minutes in the microwave. But uh, you have to reveal the hidden word inside. Your okay. washable words, if you like. Okay, so do you know what to do? In again, right? Yeah. Okay, in it goes. <laughs> you can see all the blue ink that's running off first. Look at that, washing, washing your secret messages. <laughs> all right, hang on, hang on. I've got to untangle go. it. What does it say? Wait, hold it up. Can you hold this side for me? I can try to. Here you go. No. Oh, no, I can't. Hang on. Oh, there you this, go. This side. So it was, can hey, you bake? It's C- cake. C-A-K-E. <laughs> cake. I love cake. So if you want to make your own washable words or hidden messages at home, all you need is some kitchen towel, a washable pen, and some sort of dry white marker or a marker pen. Brilliant. And you're good to go. That's well, that was absolutely fun. awesome. Right. We need okay. to do what these lot are saying. We need to put these numbers. Yes. Nine, two, one, five. Yes. Into that lock. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, okay, here we go. So so we go from the top down. Yeah, top down. So also you can see these are the numbers that I'm trying to line up here. So what was the first one? Nine. Right, nine is in. Two. Two is in. One. One is there. Five. Five. Moment of truth. Go for it. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yeah, brilliant! It's open. Okay, now I just need to try and get the scissors out because they are stuck in. Oh, that's going to be tricky. You've got, got it. it. I've got it. Um, I've got it. I've got it. Ethan and Amelia say you can also use lemon juice to reveal secret messages. So there's some other fun you experiments can. we can you do. Can. We just need a bit of heat. Huh. Um, scissors. What are we doing with these? Can what you are remember? we doing with the scissors? We are trying to get into the drawers. We're trying to get into the drawers. Okay, Greg, okay, can we do that? Right, I'm going into the drawers. Okay, fingers crossed. Hopefully it's a key inside. Hopefully. What is it? Hang on. Just, that's it. Just cut through the rope. Here we go. Brilliant. I'm in. What, what, what is it? Is it a key? No, it's just closed. Okay, well, we don't want any. Oh. Meat. What is it? It's not a key. Oh, bother. Sorry, Dave. It's another box. Another locked box. With a lock on it. Okay. okay well, tell right, me about this lock, Let's then. have a look at this one. What's the difference? So this lock mm-hmm. uh, has one, two, three, four, five numbers on it, mm-hmm. uh, but they're also coloured. 
Red, purple, blue, green, yellow. So how many numbers do we need? Uh, we need five numbers. Yeah. But maybe the colours yeah. can help us. Okay, well, let's think. What can we use? <sighs> okay, hang um, on. We've, so used, we've used the water and the pens. Yeah, we've done that. We can't use the scissors we've on used, the lock. No. Uh, the cipher, not particularly useful because this is for letters and we need numbers. Yeah. I don't we've think we can... use the yellow envelope. Yeah, I don't we've think we that. can break into it with a rolling pin. Don't try. <laughs> yeah, it's actually one of those tough boxes. Yeah. That's not going to happen. So we might, well, maybe we've missed something. Hang on. I've got... I've got messages. What are they saying? Leslie. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, no got... way. Yeah, okay. Les yeah Leslie. Yeah, Leslie. That's amazing. Leslie uh, says. Georgia, Bodie, Lucy, Peter, Ariana. Lots of you saying. Look at, look the, at the books. Book. The books. <gasps> the Good books. spot. The I didn't books. see that. Hang on. Okay, let me zoom in on the books, right, man. Tell me what the colours are. Tell me Hang what the colours are. Zoof. Uh, well, the colours on, on the lock are uh -huh. uh, red, yeah. purple, yeah. blue, green, yes. yellow. Exactly the same as the books. <gasps> exactly the same. But they're, they're in a different order, though. They are in a different order. Okay, how are we gonna how are we gonna turn the the order of the coloured books well, maybe, into the numbers we need for this? Maybe the order of the books is the number. So, for example, I don't know. If, if yellow is our first book, maybe yellow is number one. That's genius. That is genius. Okay, so let's try this. So uh, red is red. the first, red here is the first number I need. So what do we put onto red? Red is the third book, so number three. Okay, so because red is the third book, I'm going to put three there next to the line. Okay, yep. got it. Uh, the next one is purple. Okay, purple is one, two, three, is the fifth book, so number five. Number five. Okay, I've just set. So three, five, got it. The next one is blue. Blue. Uh, blue is the second book, so try number two. Okay, hang on. Oh, brilliant. James there. Uh, James is counting along with me. James so, says so, blue is number two. So, as what well. was it? Three then? Say that again. Uh, so, it's red is three, purple is five, blue is two. two. So, we've got three, five, two. What's green? Green is the fourth book. So, green, green is number four. Green is number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, three, five, two. Four, yeah. Oh, well done to Ariana who guessed this, by the way. You got it way before we did. What's your last num last colour? Uh, yellow. Okay, yellow is number one. Yellow is number one. Three, five, number. two, four, one. <gasps> Has it worked? I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Well, don't I'm open in. It, don't open it, don't open it yet. Why? Listen. What's going on with that book? The blue book isn't a book. Bring it over. Bri what was that noise? <laughs> Show them on the camera. Look at, Look at this. Look, the blue book is actually a safe. Wow. Look, and it's got a code on it. Oh yeah, I can see the code on the side. Can you see? So that's a three number code. Yeah, look. Okay. One, two, three. Lots of people are saying in the live chat, there's something inside the book. Uh, give it a rattle. That it's sounds the key. like a key. It's okay, Dave. We're nearly there. We're, We're nearly, nearly there. there. That's the key for the lock. Okay, all right. Last thing we need then is a three is three numbers. So hopefully the answer will be inside this box. Okay, okay. You ready? Fingers crossed for three numbers. I'm going to put this to the side for now. What is it? Mm. What is it? There's um, just a long bit of a long bit of paper. That's it. That's it. Do you want to have a look at it on the top down? Uh, yeah, okay. So, all right, okay, so it's just a little, well, it's a long piece of paper with some random, random letters on it? Hang on, hang on, what hang is, on! What is this? Hang on, hang on, hang on! I know what this is. What is it? This is this is called a side tail. Right. Right, this is another way of uh, writing secret messages. Mm -hmm. Here's how you do it, right? You take yourself uh, a strip of paper. Like this one. Like this, yeah. right? And then you need, like, a tube something that's a tube shaped mm -hmm. and you you take a blank piece of paper and you wrap it around that tube. Okay. So it could be just like around a pen, for okay. example. Okay, like this sort of thing, okay. Yeah. yeah, and then what you do is you then write your message along the piece of paper yeah. and then when you unwrap the piece of paper... You just yeah, have gobbledygook letters that don't mean anything. You have a few letters in random places. But here's the, here's the important thing. Yeah. To decipher that side tail, yeah. you need the exact same 
uh, tube, the same size tube, to wrap that around and read the message on. So to read this secret message, we need to wrap it around any kind of cylinder, like the, a tube. The same, exact same cylinder that was used to write the coded message in the first place. So we need a tube. We need a tube. If you are doing this at home, uh, you can try it with a pen or a pencil. Mm -hmm. uh, you could do it with a toilet roll tube. You could do it with like a rolling pin. You could do it with like a Pringles tube. Oh, Pringles. We have you a rolling pin. Everybody in the live chat, Emma says wrap it around the rolling pin. Everyone is saying Zach, Luke, Lucy and Peter are all saying rolling pin. We have okay. a rolling pin. We do, pin. we have a rolling pin. That's so good. Okay, so we need to wrap that. There you go, over to you. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Right, I'm going to put this here. Let's wrap it around and see what... Oh, oh my word. It's already beginning to reveal itself. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. So maybe if I just bunch everything together. Look, 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 look. Let me turn it around so you can all read it. <laughs> Nine, Nine, six, six two. two. It reveals in words, three numbers, 962. And you know what we need the three numbers for? Shall I try it? You take that. Uh, okay, no, take I've that. Got it. I've got it, I've got it on this camera here. Okay. Like this, okay, all right, so. Uh, nine. Yeah. Nine. Six. six. Yes. Last one. Two. two. Nine. Six. Two. Okay, open it up. <gasps> Does it unlock? Does it un It's unlocked! It's unlocked! Yes! <laughs> What's yes. inside? Yes. What is it? What is it? It's yes. the key! <laughs> okay, try the key. Okay. Try the key, we try the key. We're okay, coming for you, Dave. Dave. We're nearly there, we're, we're nearly there. We're coming for you. Okay. Opening it up. <gasps> Okay, wow. you lot, absolutely amazing. <laughs> we just saved it. We have got Dave back from his evil twin brother. Oh, oh thank goodness gosh. for that. We opened five locks. <gasps> we found four codes. We did. And we have tried three different ways <laughs> of sending secret messages and codes. Wow. If you have a go at any of these code breaking ideas at home, then please do let us know about it, either on social media or ask a grown up to send a photo uh, to our email. Hello, right. let's go live at gmail.com. Right, I think before we get Dave a well deserved oh. treat, we should probably do a celebratory selfie, don't you? Yes. Should we do that? Should we do that? Okay, don't so- Don't love an escape room? Oh, I love an escape okay. room. Okay, right. Dave's gotta be in this. I can hold the sign. I've got a key here. Okay, I've got the rolling pin. Okay, maybe I can put the lock on uh, Dave. We've got the, the box. There we are. Uh, you've got the cipher so wheel. So many things. Yeah, that, you can't really see that very well. Okay, yeah. all right. I'll, uh, I'll have this wrapped up on here like this. Okay. <laughs> Getting all our bits like, and pieces like for this. a picture. I'll hold this like this. Uh, that'll do us, won't okay, it? Okay, that'll do. Three. Oh, where's the cipher wheel? It's oh, here. I I'll hold it, it like this. Look, well. look, look. Okay, okay. Three, two, one. It's the, the awkward, awkward selfie. <laughs> that was so much fun. Oh, Oh my bad. goodness. If you do take a picture and you want to share it with us, there are our socials, at MuddyMo, at Gregfoot on Twitter and Instagram. Before we head off, um, I think we've got time to look at some more of your forensic skill photos that you've been oh, sending in. Yes. You've been so busy. We've got a heap of these, so thank you so much. Sophie's been testing uh, pens for each of her suspects, and she found out that the cream eggs were stolen by baby no. Josie. No, Amelia's very excited about her new spy skills. She has way more ways to spy on her two little brothers now. <laughs> Emily did some chromatography using the bathtub. Smart Clever. idea. Huey J used lip balm to create greasy fingers, dust fingerprints, dust them with a the cocoa. There they are, very professional. Spy Ninja Daniel reported a crime, and he's been working really hard to find out the culprit. Nicely dressed. Olivia and Jacob have dusted the fingerprints of everyone in their house and saved them in a frame. Freddie really looks the part. Um, he's been collecting evidence too. Noah and Maggie are really enjoying using their spy skills to do chromatography together. Atticus dusted fingerprints of all of his family members and captured his own on a balloon. Annabelle used cocoa powder to dust fingerprints from both her mum and her dad. Georgia and Kirsty dusted their fingerprints and found that they both have the rare arch pattern. Oh, cool. Caitlin and Ryan enjoyed the experiment dusting their own prints. Violetta enjoyed seeing all the pretty colours hidden in their black felt tips. And the last one, Lucas and Poppy have dusted their fingerprints that they've printed them on balloons. Fantastic. Thank you so much for those. We will be back on Friday with our final case of Spy Week. Mm. And then we're going to be practising our 
spy secret agent skills and trying some spy gadgets. Very, very cool. Mm. Uh, should we do some quick birthdays and then some goodbyes before yeah. we head off? Yeah, okay. Okay, birthdays. Let's do today's birthdays okay. first. Oscar turns five today. Happy birthday, Happy Oscar. Birthday. Uh, Evelyn is six today. Happy birthday. William and Alyssa, you both turn seven today. Happy birthday, William and um, Alyssa. Another William is nine today. Happy birthday, Happy William. Happy birthday to you. Nine uh, years old today. Nate is ten today. Happy birthday. And Brona is seven today. <laughs> Happy That's birthday. All you happy birthdays. Everyone who has a birthday today. Uh, and Lola is five tomorrow. Happy <coughs> birthday for tomorrow, Lola. That's the tomorrow birthday, Claxton. Okie oh, dokes. Let's amazing. say goodbye. Um, some schools are watching. Yeah. Uh, nine class at John Perry Primary School. Thanks for joining in with our uh, with our case today. Oh, and also, also Orchard Primary School. And also I've got a bunch as well. Mm. Um, St. Clair's Special School in Derby. Hello. Hi. Uh, John Perrin School. Hello. Preston Lodge High School, yeah. Coldingham Primary School, Hi, Coldingham Primary. Uh, and Blessed Sacrament with Freya and Noah. Hello. Hello. Hi, thanks for watching. Names? Yeah, Super Spy Thomas and his nanny Linda are watching. Trish and Sam are in London. Uh, Jasmine and Declan in Exminster. Thank Rosalind, you. Rosalind. Uh, Rosalind in Worthing. Uh, Mally in Greece. Thanks for joining Hi. us today. Uh, Annie and Adelaide in America. Uh, Toby, Rihanna, Luke and Maya. Thanks for joining us. Keris, Isaac, Anna, Jack and Henry. Goodbye to Ben, Rainer, Eva and Ralph. Uh, and Emily and Grace and Vio and Abdurrahman. Uh, to Fifi, Luna, Mohammed and Holly, goodbye. And Ben and Emily and Izzy and Emily <laughs> and Alex and Wokenham. I can't say any words anymore. There you go. Uh, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, please do. We've just hit 160,000 subscribers, so that is awesome. But it means that you will get a notification every time we have a new video going up. Mm -hmm. But we will see you on Friday for our final Curious Case. Woohoo! All then. right, we'll see you then. <laughs> Stay curious. Bye! Bye, Bye Jay!